guys, so we're jumping straight in like usual. I'm starting off with my hair like strokes. So first I sharpen my pencil. It's an NK brand eyebrow pencil. And then I just lightly tap some lines on my eyebrow. Yeah, it sounds easier than it is, but that's really what I'm doing. You don't want to do it too dark because you don't want any harsh, harsh lines. But doing it lightly will ensure that the lines are thin and that they're not too dark. After this, I'm going to take my P. Louise in 08. This concealer perfectly matches my complexion, and that's why I put it under my eyebrow. I'm going to swoop it up my arch and then back down. I didn't record that, so that's why I told you, but I think you know how to do eyebrows. If not, let me know in the comments. So, now I'm going to use my MAC Duo, okay? I don't know why I got a safety pin on it, ignore that, but... I'm using the shade Saddle Brown. Now let me tell you about this duo. Both of the colors are cool tones. They're very pale on me. But the Saddle Brown pretty much is like my complexion. But a hint darker. So it adds a slight touch of dimension when using it on my crease. And personally, I love it. I really, really love it. And that's why I've continued to use legit these two shades. Probably my whole makeup career. Now I'm taking my P. Louise in 00. I love using this for eyeshadow bases, especially my creases, which is what I'm doing here. Yeah, so just watch how I shape it and stuff. If you do not know about my little eyeball trick, pretty much for your crease work, use your eyeball to make that line. Do not be afraid to use it. Like really ooh, put the little brush right up in that little crease and just do it. Because honestly, that's what I do every single time. And I get the perfect crease every single time. Now honestly, you can fix it up, of course. Clean it, make sure the line looks you know nice and has no jagged edges because that's disgusting but for the most part the eyeball works honey i'm just saying okay so now i'm taking my crayon cases box of crayons eyeshadow palette twister tongue twister okay in the shade brown and i'm just going to put this in like oblong patches along my crease i'm pretty much trying to go for a jasper stone get it jasper i'm sure you do on my lid it's kind of like doing a marble effect super cute and now i'm taking my morph and Morph, honey, I got some words for you. But I'm taking the Morph Bling Boss Palette in the shade Spark, and I'm just going to kind of blend out that deep, deep red because, yeah, box of crayons, brown, that's definitely red. That's burgundy. You could have said burgundy, it's okay. Now you guys know I love 350's orange and I'm just going to kind of blend that out a little bit more into the red and deep red because Jasper stones, they come red, they come burgundy, they can come green too, but we're not gonna talk about that. But necessarily it's kind of like an orangey, burnt sienna kind of red. It's rusty, it's really cute and like warm. So we're gonna warm up these reds. Now I'm gonna take my ColourPop customizable eyeshadow palette and I'm using the shade Sea Star. It's pretty much like this beige -ish tan and Jaspers also carry beige, tan, and brown tones. They usually separate the deeper colors like the reds and the orange. 
or the greens or whatever. You know, watch me work on this stone. Now it's time to make a mess with some glitter. I'm using Ismi New York, which is a beauty supply store brand, at least here in New York. And I'm taking the shade gold. It's a light gold. You'll see different golds though, but it literally says gold, I'm sorry. But honestly, it's like $3 and they're really good glitters. So basically I took my Duo Lash Glue. Yep. And I made some lines spaced out lines and then I applied some glitter on top therefore it only stuck on the lines mm -hmm. and that's gonna give this like I don't know you know the stones be looking like that they look really lined up and rigid but they're different colors and cute anyways to start the face I start off with some moisturizer and some calamine lotion and a little bit of primer then I'm gonna apply my foundation from Juvia then I'm gonna use my contour stick from Makeup Revolution. P. Louise to highlight and conceal them bags, honey. Moving on to more Juvia just to bake. Then we're gonna apply some setting spray. This locks in all the powder and the creams that we just applied to our face to make sure nothing moves. Don't mess up the eyes though. Now we're gonna apply some highlights. You know, I love me some bomb, beaming highlight. And that glow kit will really do it for you. You can literally use any shade on there and it's gonna be popping. Now for lipstick. Oops, not lipstick. I mean for my tribal mass base. Yes, Jasper has a nice deep thick line across her face and this little like horn looking thing coming in the eye. Super cute, we're gonna recreate the whole look. So we're going to just speed this up just a tad you know if you guys don't mind per usual anyways I'm gonna talk through it a little bit so I use this red lipstick it's really cheap it's from the dollar store well they still have the dollar store too this is in the beauty supply store but it's really like two dollars I can't even tell you what the brand is because the like label comes off so it's cheap anyways I use this as a base and this is pretty much because I don't really have any red liquid base to use. P. Louise is a good brand that carries something like that, so you can look into that. But I use lipstick. Results may vary, but I think this came out pretty okay if you ask me. Another tip that I would like to add in is using a small flat brush to add the very least outline because I know doing the whole thing sounds crazy with a small brush but this gives you a little more precision with your movement precision with your decisions haha <laughs> that was cute but you'll see like it's very very easy when you use it to outline and then fill in the blanks Ooh, 
another thing I want to add honestly do not be afraid to clean this up with concealer but I would recommend doing the whole process again like the concealer the foundation the layer because I just did concealer and in my low lights You'll see my low lights later, but you can see where I cleaned up because the concealer necessarily wasn't, it wasn't giving full coverage. It wasn't giving coverage. It wasn't giving nothing. I'm not going to say it wasn't giving coverage, but it wasn't giving full coverage. Okay, honey. And that's what I did. That's what I want. That's what I like. Like you see, I lightly set it, but it wasn't too many, like it just didn't clean. I'm a clean line, clean, clean type of person, so I need it to clean, clean, but anyways, let's start my little under eye horn thing. Okay, guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply translucent, translucent, translucent powder. Mm hmm. And I'm just gonna apply that on top. This is an all white powder that pretty much turns invisible, especially once added to color. Now, I wouldn't recommend it for your baking. At least, not the brand that I use here. It's from Makeup Forever. I don't recommend this for my girls of color because I have tried it. It um, will cause flashback. It will. But for something like this where you're just necessarily trying to keep a cream color in place, it works beautifully. So for something maybe like your eyeshadow, I would probably use it. I'm basically using it just to dry up the cream. Is it? I do, however, apply a little bit of... Um, spark in the red shades that I use just to kind of keep the red because it did fade out a little bit with the translucent powder now that I'm completely matte it's time to add some glitter I use some J LaRue glitter and I use my glitter glue and I lightly pat the glitter on top nothing fancy then I'm gonna add some stones under my eye then I'm gonna add some lashes Ooh. stunner lip paint in uncensored from Fenty then here oh honey and the whole look is done my Jasper look I think came out pretty okay what you guys think thank you guys for staying with me and watching me turn into Jasper pretty much and if you guys haven't checked out any other looks from the series please take a couple minutes just to, you know like that watch that subscribe after you know nothing too serious but if you guys haven't got enough of this look just yet check out these low lights i'll check you later bye <laughs>